Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the Commanding General, Major General Bradley A. Becker, and the Post Command Sergeant Major, Command Sergeant Major William D. Hain, welcome to the United States Army Training Center at Fort Jackson for the graduations of Companies A and C from the 2nd Battalion, 60th Infantry Regiment, and Company D, 3rd Platoon, from the 1st Battalion, 13th Infantry Regiment, 193rd Brigade. Please stand for the invocation given by Chaplain Sarah Tarpley. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-loving God, we are a blessed people. We are a blessed country. Thank you for life and breath. I am grateful for your mighty love and grace. Lord, be with us on this momentous occasion as we celebrate our newest American soldiers. They have accomplished something great. They have been tried and tested. They have endured and pushed through to the end. Thank you, Lord, for their mighty courage, their strength, and their perseverance. Continue to bless them and all their families and friends, and it's in your mighty name I pray. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. The purpose of today's ceremony is to recognize the commitment of the men and women you see standing in the formation before you today who have chosen to serve their country as soldiers. This review is the last official formation of the training cycle. Not everyone successfully completes this difficult period of training, but those in formation today represent disciplined, motivated, physically fit soldiers who exemplify the Army's seven core values, loyalty, duty, respect, selfless service, honor, integrity, and personal courage. They are imbued with the warrior ethos and display the tenets of putting the mission first, never accepting defeat, never quitting, and never leaving behind a fallen comrade. This is an important day, and these soldiers can take great pride in their accomplishments. To the parents, families, and friends of these soldiers, Fort Jackson extends a very warm and sincere welcome. We are justifiably proud of them, and are equally honored that they have chosen to join our ranks. Please direct your attention to the left of the formation. The units marching today from your left to right are the 282nd Army Band under the command of Warrant Officer Thomas W. Jackson, Jr. Graduating soldiers from Company A, the Battalion Color Guard, graduating soldiers from Company C, and from the 1st Battalion, 13th Infantry Regiment, graduating soldiers from 3rd Platoon, Company D. Identified by their distinctive headgear are the drill sergeants. These dedicated non-commissioned officers form the backbone of the Army Training Center system. Selected on the basis of professional competence, leadership ability, and years of service. These men and women undergo intensive training to earn the right to wear their distinctive hat and insignia. With the drill sergeant hat goes the important responsibility of molding civilian men and women into soldiers. The commander of troops for today's ceremony is Captain Timothy J. Shively, who serves as the operations officer for the 2nd Battalion, 60th Infantry Regiment. He and the battalion staff are positioned on the field. The reviewing officer for today's graduation is the commander of the 2nd Battalion, 60th Infantry Regiment, Lieutenant Colonel Jeffrey R. Kirby. On his left is Command Sergeant Major William G. Trammell, the senior non-commissioned officer, master trainer, and principal advisor to the commander.
the commander of troops will now bring forward the colors and persons to be honored. It is appropriate for soldiers not in uniform and all armed forces veterans to salute the American flag. We ask our civilian guests to please remove your headgear and place your right hand over your heart as our national anthem is played. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand. Hi, I'm John Kelleher. I'm the Defensive Tactics Instructor at Unity One Inc. And today we're working on pain compliance takedowns. Uh, it's really important that our officers out in the street, they, they know how to defend themselves, but they also important that they know how to do it safely, both for themselves and for the people that they're, uh, they might come in contact with. So what we stress during our Defensive Tactics class is redirecting the forces and then uh, taking people, if, if we have to take them um, into a handcuffing position, we do it in a way that reduces the amount of uh, impact on both the, the officer and on the person that's being handcuffed. So you're going to see today a series of techniques that uh, we've been working on for the past couple of weeks. Um, they've learned the basic techniques and today we're going to start adding the takedowns. Alright, now we're going to work real fast. We did the universal disarm last time. Okay, we're going to show you a real easy one now. That was Okay, all of these disarms I'm gonna show you guys are easy with respect to two moves tops, three moves maybe, but there's different categories of easy. That was easy because it's one technique you can use against a knife, a stick, and a gun. Mm -hmm. This technique is just easy because it's, but it really only works front or side. And I'll show you what I mean. Okay, what's the first thing you gotta do when the weapon's pointed at you? Get it out of your way. Before that happens. Put your hands up. Put your hands up wide. Because so you're going to use your hands to defend yourself. So you yeah, if your hands are down here, it takes two. He can shoot me 
faster than I could bring my hands up. Okay, so you want your hands up here. Okay, what's faster, action or reaction? Action. Action is faster than reaction. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. So, what we're gonna do on this technique, it's called push-pull, all right? Doesn't matter which way we do it. Let's, let's have a gangbanger stance here. Right. <laughs> Doesn't matter whether we push or pull. Oh, wait, okay. there we go. <laughs> okay. So, but think about this. Which would be the better way to push the weapon? This way. Why? To break the wrist. Break the wrist, why else? Because I don't want to end up doing this, and he takes it back. Uh, I guess okay. that makes sense. I was going to say. What would, <laughs> just shoot but, what would dictate me not pushing it this way? Or not pushing it this way, I mean. What would make you not push it If there's somebody over here. If Your Kim is standing here, mm -hmm. come over here. He pushes if out. I do this, and he shoots, she's dead. So in that situation, I would have to do this way, mm -hmm. okay? All we're doing is we're just turning our hip and we're pushing the weapon, I'm grabbing the wrist, and now I'm gonna pull and take the gun. Okay, okay? it's just push-pull, it's one, two. Okay, it works the other way, one, two. It works up, okay, this kind of deal, one, two, okay? Very easy, it's two moves, doesn't matter. By grabbing the wrist, I don't have the now, strength it's, to hold it's it. It's not going to work this way. I'm going to show you something different for the back. Okay, it works from the side. Okay, one, two. Okay. It's not the back. So any other way, just not the back. Okay, what am I grabbing? Wrist. Wrist. The other technique I was telling you to grab the slide. In this, I'm telling you to grab the wrist. Okay. That is going to fire. Because he's got one in the chamber and his finger's on the trigger already. Mm -hmm. So, be prepared for the bang. Bang! Okay. Yeah. Try that. Yeah. Everybody grab. Right. Yes. Okay. All right. Come here, Amanda. Put your legs together. Where are your hands? Bang, bang. There you go. So I'm pushing it either. Push it this way. Yep. Just grab it. Grab And pull. Good. Now. Push. Pull it back. So. Pull it back. Because that's your pull. Real, this is real subtle, so everybody. Seven, Watch my hips. Okay? My good. hips are giving me torque, which gives me what? Power. So, Power. So, I don't want my feet planted here, because yeah. now I've so lost, I have no torque. Cool. Yeah. But if I do this, and he came in, I can defend myself. Take the gun, okay? We'll get your feet Right foot back. There you go. If you were to take a regular martial arts class, you'd spend a year doing up with a stance push here? Seriously. Pull so if you're standing this way, yeah. you're turning you're this? And it's stepping back. That's all you're doing. Here. There you go. Feels Turn wrong. it back. Don, it feels like we're doing wrong. What do you say? So when I'm taking, am I pulling her back? Yes. Just, okay. Push pull. Okay. I was like, it feels okay. You try to work at the Have speed and timing up. so you get as fast, fast, up. As, fast yeah. as you can. Oh, okay, you, you pushed and you grabbed. <laughs> pull back hard. You're pulling me back. So you want to get so, her. Okay, when you're here, no, you no, want to no, get no, here no, and now no, you so can actually you do this. Put it in your right hand. Okay. Now I got so a wrist. I can gun. take her down if I wanted to. I'm pushing. Okay. Or okay. then whenever you what you want to do? Oh, I'm, I'm, yeah, I keep the hand. When after you guys have seized the weapon, okay, you want to get to the back. Okay. Now if if you know a wrist technique, you can get her down. But you want to get to the back, away from her center line. Okay. So you rather and you want to get away on a line of departure where you're in a strategic position, okay? How far away are we gonna get? Six, eight feet at least. At least. 30. I'm yeah. running, I'm running. Or just run, yeah. Okay. I got your gun. Hold on, I'm sorry. I don't know what you're saying. I'm trying to be right. soft. Yeah. Remember, when we talk about zone, remember we talked about zone of sanctuary? Nice. This is a zone of sanctuary, why? Stop. As soon as this I have her center here, line, hand is going to the she can't do anything to me. Maybe a back kick, but I have a gun. Back kick gun. Who will so, win? Uh, it's, it's practice. Yeah. Yeah. Don't even worry about that. Yeah. Just grab the gun and go that way. And go. Sorry, grab behind. No? Run behind me. Okay, if you're going to bring back, <laughs> start stepping this way. Reshoot. Push my body. Oh, if you're going to let go of the wrist, push me so that I'm torqued and step. Okay, start here. Start hands up. Hey, I'll do anything you want. Whatever you want. Okay? That's fine. If it slips, it slips. But that's when you want to step forward and run. Okay. No, wrong way. Push, push, push. Push, pull. Push, there you go. Pull. 
Okay. Now, hands take up. your feet, take your feet. Step you're, you're at 45, oh. so that if I swing back to this hand, I'm gonna miss you. Now step in. Well, you might miss me anyway. Like, huh? Now this feels weird. I'm really bad at this kind of stuff. Don't say that. My little brother's not much bigger than you. Go so that way? Well, am I stepping oh, back? You're going that way. Go so you're going to go here? Yep. Go back to around. around? Now, because I'm this way, it takes me Push, to this and now I'm just going to walk this way. But you're pulling. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm pulling yeah. her hand. That's the strip of the weapon. <laughs> yes, you can. Okay, so, like that, and I'm just... Yes. I know whether or not it's loaded. Do you? Okay, try it to the head. Try it from different sides and angles. Nope. No, this one head up. Oh, yeah. Don't push up. No, you don't have to step up. up. You can stand up. That'll work. Now go up. No, no. Make sure you don't do this. <laughs> I've seen somebody do this. Realistic. You're just getting a push. <laughs> That's not <laughs> protecting. Okay. Really good. You're here. It's so, up. Here, I just grab. Strip. There you go. Okay. And then just, as you're bringing it down, don't put your hand on that. Cut. Just catch it, cut. Right? Okay. Up, up and then strip. So wait, push the wrist. Push this. Then. Yeah. Good. Kneel yeah. down. That, that, I didn't yeah. try. Okay. Okay. You're a little tall. So you're here. Yeah. You're going up. up. Push to her head. Okay. Grab the gun as it's coming down. Go here. And strip. There you go. Got wait. And you're here. Yeah. Here. Yeah. 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 Go back. I just wanted to get that. Yeah. 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 Now, see, I'm the reason well, I grabbed still, she's got two hands on it. Okay. She's got two hands on it, I'm not going to do this technique. Okay. Up, okay. Your hips slightly. But do, do the two hands. When you come it doesn't down, matter, the principle's the same. Up, and I'm going to strip. But you're not doing as much to turn it toward her. Okay. 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 You're going to do this technique, one hand, okay? So you're just going to okay. push up. And okay. you're still doing the same thing. Don't put your hand over the barrel. Right. Okay. But better leave your hand in your head. Would be more of this. Yeah. Side. So then, <laughs> this one. And then on the way back, where? You're grabbing. Okay, and what are you doing? Now you got the gun. Grab the gun. So when you're pushing out, you're okay, trying to the side. The same direction as your arm. So the ear. When you come back, you twist your hips off. You have to bring your hands up behind your hips. Yeah. Stay. I'm like, oh my god, no. Why did I miss the gun? So you're pushing out. So you're pushing out. Okay. Then when you come back, twist your hips off. You're here. Okay, so you're here. It's push pull. Okay. Bam. Here we go. Okay. All right. There you go. Push. Pull. Get your legs together. Get your legs together. I don't know why the push. Like we'll do it one more time. Did you have stuff on your tattoos? My hands no. are all slippery. All right. Keep your hands up. Keep your hands up. All right. Good. Okay. All of these are just two moves. They got obviously they have to be drilled and they have to be memorized. Thanks for joining us for our defensive tactics class today. Uh, we went over, again, we went over pain compliance, takedowns, uh, submission holds. Uh, safety is always our, our primary concern and that's why we're showing techniques that don't necessarily involve striking. We want to, it's redirection of force, um, locks and uh, takedowns that the officer has control over the situation easier and they all go to cuffing position. Uh, so. As you know, every week we add a new technique and uh, the officers build on from there. Um, thanks for joining us and uh, we'll see you next time.